Hello, I'm Dave and Hiskey, and you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel. In the video today, we're looking at the surprisingly slow speed of electricity. Let's get started. You may be surprised to learn that electrons flow through a typical copper wire much slower than a turtle walks. Each wire that conducts a flow of electrons producing usable electric current is composed of billions of atoms. To move along it, the electrons have to traverse these atoms, randomly zigzagging their way as they do, resulting in the net flow rate, called drift velocity, in a given direction being quite slow. How slow exactly? To calculate it, we use the formula I equals NAVQ, or V equals I over NAQ. I is the current, N is the number of electrons per cubic meter, A is the cross section of the wire, Q is the charge of an electron, and V is the drift velocity of the electrons. Since the number of electrons in a copper wire is 8.5 times 10 to the 28th per meter cubed, and the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the 19th coulombs, if we also know the cross sectional area and the current, we can calculate the electron's drift velocity. For example, suppose you have a current of 14 amps and a copper wire with a cross section of 3 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared. Plug in all the numbers, and you get that the electrons are moving at a speed of 3.4 times 10 to the negative 4th meters per second, or about a whopping one-third of a millimeter per second. To put it in values that are easier to conceptualize, this works out to about 1.2 meters, or 4.1 feet per hour, a rate about 195 times slower than the average box turtle, which can cover about 800 feet in that same amount of time. So how is it that something that makes the turtle look like the roadrunner can more or less instantaneously turn on a light across a room? Chain reaction. The atoms in the wire are crammed together cheek to jowl, which, while it makes the going slow, also has the electrons more or less abutting one another. When the switch is turned on, thanks to the electrical potential difference created by the generator, a force is created to move the electrons with each pushing on its neighbor, which in turn pushes on its neighbor and so on all the way through the wire. So while no electrons zoom through the wire to turn the light on, as you might have previously thought, it ends up seeming like that's what's happening. This is not unlike how when you turn on your faucet, water instantly comes out, despite the fact that your water source might be many miles away. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give it a like below and consider sharing it with anyone you think might find it interesting. Being a pretty new channel, that helps us out a ton. And if you're new to Today I Found Out, don't forget to click that subscribe button. We release new videos almost every day, so you're sure to find something you find interesting.